speaking about uh, Sri Santosh Mishra, I am honored to present the next award to the very dynamic IS officer, Mr. Santosh Mishra. Mr. Mishra from the batch of 2000 demonstrated how to use emerging technology to make public service delivery efficient, inclusive and scalable. He and his team developed an AI-based cataract screening mobile app to help the vulnerable elderly population in rural areas and in low-income urban settlements. They also created an AI-based pest and disease identification system to help the farmers. He is credited with laying the foundation for a star-wide blockchain called Namakai in IAM and creating a framework to leverage it for predictive service delivery to citizens. Speaking, it's privileged to facilitate Sri Santosh Mishra on his numerous accomplishments and contribution to India and confers on him the Speaking Award for Excellence in Innovation and Technology. It's a truly an honor and privilege to be here. I believe, uh, thank you for the, uh, thank you to Speaking and the jury members for having selected me. Uh, one of our dreams in this country is to become uh, a five trillion economy very soon. And I personally believe that one of the hurdles we have to cross is public service delivery. We really need to make a UPI. UPI has been such a runaway success. And I think we need to make a UPI kind of revolution in the way our public service delivery apparatus functions. And I think uh, in terms of technology, today is the most exciting times. You have these amazing new things coming up called AI, called blockchain, IoT, artificial uh, AR and VR technologies. And I think they have the potential to truly transform the way we deliver our solutions to people. Uh, uh, one short example I'll give, in, on an average, I was reading in one of the studies, an Indian doctor spends about 25 seconds for an outpatient. This number is 25 minutes in US. And it's not his fault or her fault, it's because there's so much of workload. And is there a way we can harness these technologies, do a AI solution, something which can actually enhance the capacity, the capability, and more efficient churning of patients into the system and, and deliver the real, uh, you know, the time of the doctor can actually get to the person who needs it the most. And some of the cases, for example, one of the case, one of the key problems is in some of the remote districts you have, at least in Tamil Nadu, you have all CT scan machines, but you don't have radiologists. So can we have a AI-based radiology solution which will immediately classify in three categories and appropriately forward that patient onto a bigger hospital instead of all of the cases going to a bigger hospital? And we did something similar in cataract detection, and it was, it was a great success. Uh, the money to operate, we have about 5 million people turning blind every year. The money is there to operate, but money to actually screen is a challenge. So we leverage this technology to make these vision ambassadors who could actually go, and you just needed to be 10th pass student. You needed to be a nursing student. You needed to be someone who's socially inclined and actually do the screening of these vulnerable groups, mostly in scattered urban and rural areas. And we had a massive success. The, the algorithm, of course, it kept on improving and it became so good that it started, I can't pronounce the name, it's called mid-generation, some, some degeneration of uh, macular degeneration, which was not actually anticipated, which was not intended to be detected by this solution, but it was able to do that, and it had a great success. So I think public service delivery, utilization of blockchain, utilization of AI, utilization of IoT is something we need to really, really explore if we really want to transform ourselves into a $5 trillion economy. And uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. And thank you very much, everyone. Good evening.